This is part one of the Bunton RetroBot installation on an existing microscope. Here you'll see a Olympus BX41 microscope. And the first thing we're going to do to install the stage is to remove the optical system, the optical nose piece, by simply loosening a set screw and then the optics will slide right out. So we'll put those aside for the moment. And the next thing we're going to do is remove the stage, the existing manual mechanical stage. And as you'll see, the stages are mounted to a ring that is connected to a bracket that's connected to the focus block. So we'll put the stage aside And what we're going to do now is install the RetroBot stage onto that bracket with the exact same fixture. And we have intermediate rings that are step-down rings for different makes of microscopes from your Nikon, your Zeiss, your Leica, Modic, and uh, they will simply add on to that existing bracket. So here you'll see the RetroBot stage mounted to the BX41 microscope. We can now reinsert the objective nose piece, tighten that down, and the next thing we're going to do is install the uh, Focus Drive, which is the latest version, all 3D printed. Inside the control unit here is the Arduino board and the drivers for the XYZ. Here is our interchangeable gripper cups that fit onto the stepper motor drive shaft. We then in turn set that to a to a good position so that it grabs on to the fine focus knob of the microscope and we simply connect the three connectors. One is for the x-axis, one is for the y-axis, And the third one is for the end limit switches. They only go on one way, so uh, those are clipped on. And then we connect the power. And on the other side is a connector for the uh, cable that goes from the Arduino control unit to your computer. So that's the basic setup of the uh, stage. Tune in for part two, which will go over the RetroBot in more detail, showing actual operation. Thank you for your attention.